Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today on another drive-by photography episode where I go out in my car and I drive around and take pictures of various things along the way. Uh, but today I'm also going to stop and talk about what I was thinking when composing the scene and then share with you some tips on composition. So without further ado, let's get started. Now the first scene is coming up on my right, so I rolled the window down, zoomed in, and took this picture. Uh, and I felt this was a little bit too tight and wasn't very interesting. There was no compositional type things that I could apply here that I could see. So I pulled my car forward a little bit and I saw this scene here and I said, well, this might work because the fence is providing sort of a leading line up to the subject here, which is the barn. And then I could crop this maybe as a 16 by nine, like so or some kind of wide crop, something along these lines. And then checking my rule of thirds, you know, we have a line here and a line here, here and here. And now compositionally speaking, this is following a couple of good rules, right? Leading lines and rule of thirds. Because our barn here is right along the rule of thirds line. But I didn't find this composition very pleasing either because if we really look at this scene, there's a lot of dead space up here, which is the sky, which eventually I'll use as a backdrop. But then all of this space down here is not very interesting either. And then ultimately the subject itself is filling up a very tiny part of the frame. So um, I said, well, there's a lake over here. Let me pull up a little bit further and see if I can use this lake as a foreground instead of this just uh, plain grass. I pulled my car forward up a little bit to see if I could get a cleaner shot of the lake and stuck my camera out the window and took this picture here. But it's still a little bit too wide and the subject's still tiny. So I uh, zoomed in and I got this shot here. And I think this is what I'll work with. All right, so let's pull up a rule of thirds here and see where we're at. And uh, it's pretty close, but I want to try to minimize this sky and this uh, grass and just mostly have the lake, the house and a little bit of sky. So we'll go back to my original thinking of a 16 by nine crop. And you can see that minimize the sky quite a bit. And uh, I need to straighten it a little bit, maybe about right there. Uh, and then let me just crop in so I just have mostly lake in the bottom thirds and mostly sky in the top thirds. And I think this is the final crop I'll go with. Come over a little bit more and center the barn right on this uh, third line here. And here's the final image with editing. So as I continue to drive around kind of randomly taking different turns here and there, uh, I came up upon this scene here on my right. So I stopped the car and went on my camera out the window and took this picture. So I think I framed this pretty well in camera. Uh, let's bring up the rule of thirds. And I'm just gonna go a little bit wider. Let's try four by six. And then uh, I'm going to move this up a little because I want the, all the tree line to be inside the frame. And I think this works pretty well. So we have sort of the, all of the trees and fall colors in the top thirds. Then in the middle thirds, we have this little path that's been mowed into the grass here. And uh, down here, we have our main subject right here in the crosshairs. And all I need to do maybe is just brush out this, uh, these branches here in the bush and uh, we can say it's done. So here's what the final image looked like with edits. Now, as I continue to drive around, I came across this old building here. And uh, so I pulled around to find a place to park and got out and I took this picture here. Now this is on the side of the building and what caught my eye was this contraption right here, some kind of old farming equipment. And um, that's gonna be my main subject. And I just want this building to kind of be the backdrop to the subject. But my thinking was when I framed it that these stairs would sort of lead your eye to the subject. 
But actually what's happening, when I look at this on the computer, the stairs actually lead you away from the subject up to the store and the rest of the building here. And another problem I'm having is this area here is not very interesting. Uh, it's just a plain, dry, white wall versus say, I really like kind of all the textures back in here and then right behind over in here. And then of course I like the windows and all this broken area of this plaster, or whatever over in here. So I think the way to go is to crop this vertically like so. And now, even though the stairs still lead up this way, it leads almost off the frame. And now I think this door is not quite as prominent as part of the stairs. And now the stairs, I think, lead your eye more towards the subject rather than leading your eye off the frame. And then I've cut out all of this messy or boring things over here. And now I have this nice window and all of this texture in here. Um, so I think I'm going to frame it this way. So let's go into Lightroom. All right, let's just start reframing this as a vertical instead. Um, I'll bring this up this way, come over. And I don't think I want any of the sky up here. Let me pull this down. Right about there. I'll pull this up just a little bit because there's a little bit too much space down here. Let me try a different uh, composition tool. Let's try the Fibonacci spiral. I'm just going to scroll through these, but this, yeah, this will work. So I'm going to try and get this wheel mostly in the spiral here. Let me pull this down again. I think right about there works. So now everything that I'm interested in is inside this little spiral and comes around the wheel. And then again, the stairs, I think, lead you more into the subject than away from the subject. Uh, because we're a little bit outside the spiral. At least that's how I see it. And that looks pretty good. Maybe we'll go black and white. Um, yeah, I like that a little better. So uh, here's the uh, final edit here. Now next to this building were some railroad tracks, but there wasn't th anything that interesting there. So I just got in my car and followed along on the road as far as I could go and I came to a dead end. So I got out of my car and I saw this, so I took a picture here. Now when I was composing this scene in my viewfinder, I really wanted to make sure I took advantage of the railroad tracks with this leading line kind of thing right into the subject here. And then also, uh, I wanted to separate the scene into three parts, right? Uh, so we have the sky here, we have the main subject here, and then we have mostly gravel and track down here. Uh, and I don't want too much sky because that's almost half the frame already from here to here. So I'm gonna crop in right about here and then crop in over here. So I have about one third here on the right, one third on the top, about one third on the bottom. And then this one third line works here. Uh, Cause right now we have the main subject, the front of the building, right front and center third. So uh, let's go in the Lightroom and work on it like this. Now let's go ahead and bring up our rule of thirds. And like I was saying, let's just crop out a lot of the sky down to about where it's only one third of the frame. Let's recenter this here so that the building, the whole front of the building is front and center. Let me just crop in a little bit more on the right. And now I have the train tracks leading into the frame. Uh, so that looks good. And one third sky and then one third foreground, which is all this uh, gravel and track. 
I think that'll work. So here's the final edit. Now I'm driving down another random country road here and I came across this beautifully landscaped uh, driveway with these trees and fence line and just a huge area. But, you know, from my car, I couldn't get a good angle. This is what I got. But let's take a look at what we can do with this. Uh, what I was trying to do when I was framing it was I was trying to get use this fence line as a leading line to this tree, which is the subject. And um, it's really crooked. I, I don't remember if I stuck my hand out of the sunroof or if I tried to stick it out through the window, but uh, we're gonna have to level this. And again, I think, unfortunately this tree over here is cut off, so I can't use that. And I don't like this post here either. So what I'm gonna do is after I straighten it, I'm just gonna use a, do a square crop, I think. Something like this. So let's go into Lightroom and work on this. All right, let's bring up our uh, guidelines here for rule of thirds and let's crop in past this post here on the left down here. We'll bring this up. Maybe crop in a little more. So I'm trying to get this tree right on this rule of thirds line here. And then let's straighten a little bit. Yeah, that looks actually straight right there. There's a little bit of a keystoning error. Come in there. Come in a little bit tighter. And that's pretty close right there. Uh, I have the tree right here on the rule of thirds line. I got the fence coming in from the bottom left corner leading into the scene. And then about one third sky. Maybe a little bit less sky. Right there. And now I have mostly the fence all in the bottom third, the tree in the middle, then sky in the top thirds. That looks good. I wish I could have got the fence line a little higher into the frame, but I think it came out okay. Either way, this wraps up my episode of Drive-By Photography. I hope you found the composition tips helpful. And if you'd like to see more videos, please consider subscribing, uh, hitting the like button, and uh, maybe buying me a coffee. But either way, hopefully we'll see you again soon.